Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be covering an NA which stands for North America for those that aren't into esports uh North American platinum tier uh battle between Ohio Nation and Wing Attack we're going to be shoutcasting uh from Wing Attack uh perspective uh these are platinum tier is one of the premier tiers in Silverina so this is going to be some absolutely incredible battles uh there's going to be battles in master league ultra league great league and then four battles in two different uh, restricted great league formats uh which we'll talk about once uh once we get there so really excited to shoutcast these battles share them with you uh, it does take a lot of work to shoutcast these battles so appreciate if you could leave a like comment let me know that you want me to cover uh these type of materials i think uh factions is a really fun format a uh, really fun team format and if you are really into pvp i think it's a really uh fantastic way to uh to have even more fun than we already have uh, while battling so i will see you in the first battle okay we are in the first uh round that i'll be covering which is the open master league in the open master league they're allowed to have one legendary per season one cycle one rules so obviously they'll change in cycle two uh, where they're i believe they're allowed to have two legendaries now so the opponent has um, Metagross, Gyarados, Mewtwo as their legendary, Tokius, Venusaur, and um, Shadow Zone. Uh, again, these are level 50. The, um, our, our Wing Attack's uh, trainer has Togekiss, Gyarados, and Magnazone. So pretty similar in three of them. Excadrill, Garchomp, and Mewtwo. So we're definitely seeing some overlap. The Venusaur is actually a little bit surprising, but maybe Venusaur has some like really nice play against Gyarados, uh, Togekiss, uh, Excadrill, uh, probably okay against Garchomp. It's probably pretty close, depending on what Musa it's running. Uh, and then um, obviously it loses to Mewtwo and, and uh, Megazone is actually probably a, pr a pretty close match, but Megazone probably uh, does edge it out. So when I take a look here, I think like there's no counters to Magnazone. So I could see the Magazone as lead or as a safe swap. Uh, both of them look pretty effective uh, to, let's see here. Uh, Excadrill obviously looks like pretty decent as well. Um, obviously you have to be careful depending on what we said the Gyarados has could be could be trouble. And then the, the Venusaur obviously could be a little bit of an issue. Uh, but with shields up, uh, I'm sure an Excadrill can take uh, one frenzy plan uh, from a Venusaur in... Uh, in 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 that matchup and then um and then basically mewtwo right like obviously you have to be careful like i, I could see like mewtwo double steel um i do see like the let's see uh gyarados looking okay on the opponent's side um metagross is look honestly looks pretty tough to use there's four counters to to metagross but metagross obviously has play like can situational play against all four of them uh maybe a little bit less against the gyarados depending on what moveset is turning um then the venusaur looks really strong on their side so i definitely could see the venusaur which is a very unconventional master league pokemon but let's go ahead and get started obviously just want to watch the battles here all right uh magnazone into gyarados Okay, so as expected, the Gyarados. Oh, it does have Waterfall, though. And then here comes Mewtwo. Okay, gonna... Uh, is this a Psy Strike, though? Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, that still does a lot of damage. Gonna throw... Okay, gonna shield this for sure. And then throw both of these. This Gyarados having a Waterfall is um, a little bit more problematic. Okay, gonna go through their own Mewtwo. Okay, gonna throw one before they make it to the Shadow Ball. And end up shielding. They have the Shadow Ball, okay. Um, well, they at least farmed up to it. Uh, well, they farmed past it, obviously. They they do land the Shadow Ball, which is obviously not great. Um, probably come Excadrill here. Um, this is another side Strike, so really nice farming by the opponent. Uh, Psy Strike. Uh, so one um, one waterfall won't KO, like one uh, uh, rock slide won't KO this Gyarados. But I think you do one mud shot, then throw. Yeah, that's good. Just just in case they try to catch. Um, 
obviously gonna look to oh my gosh gonna go straight for the wild charge uh i think honestly the mirror shot might have been able to enough to ko uh they come to their own oh magnezone oh this is looking really good right now gonna wild charge and then basically mud shot down this uh well i don't know if you can actually mud shot it down because uh, uh well you're gonna have to right i don't know or double up here uh Oh, this is looking pretty nasty here. Going to have to shield this, right? And then just double up and then throw the move. And then I'm um, actually not sure who wins CMP between... I think Extra Drill wins CMP. I think Extra Drill wins CMP pretty cleanly against Gyarados. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, they knew that as well. So, okay, very nicely done. Yeah, Extra Drill looks like really fantastic. I'm actually surprised the opponent didn't bring Venusaur. Uh, oh man, okay. So we expect the Mewtwo to come back in. Uh, yeah. I wonder if they're going to go up to the Shadow Ball this time. Okay, just going to go straight. Um, okay, I like the switch out to the Garchomp. Because you know that this is a... Uh... Okay, two side Strikes probably come pretty close to KOing. But I think you let it go. You have to shield the second one. For sure. Or do you let it go? Okay. Um, okay, I guess it's such a dominating matchup. Okay, gonna throw the sand tube, pretending it's, um, it's, uh, uh, it's like an outrage. They actually end up shielding, which is really, really nice. Gonna throw another sand tube, which is gonna do not very much damage, but this does allow the next dragon tail due to, oh my gosh, they double shielded. What the heck? Okay. Um, that's very weird. Okay. Uh, obviously, they're going to throw in Aqua Tail. Uh, you don't shield. They're quite low. These sparks are doing so much damage. Uh, you let this go again. And then, honestly, you probably just, just swap here to Mewtwo. But, um, okay, they're going to Wild Charge here and then uh, switch over to Mewtwo. And the Psy Strike should be enough to KO, especially since it's a Shadow. You don't need to reveal another moveset. And uh, keep the opponent guessing on whether or not you have Shadow Ball or Focus Blast. And uh, just going to Psycho Cut down this Gyarados. Uh, and able to pick up uh, two wins so far. And we're going to go game number three, see if they can pick up three points. Oh, okay. But this is uh, okay. All right. We're experiencing some weird video lag. That That is okay. Uh, that was weird. Okay. Um... Gonna let this go. They do go for the crunch, which is pretty interesting. And gonna go for the sand tomb. Let's see if they get the shield again. They do not. Yeah, the opponent learned their lesson this time. Um, let's see if they're going for the farm down or if they're gonna throw the move. Okay, yeah, I think you let this go, right? They have the they have no uh no one to absorb the Magnezone's energy. So this is looking pretty good. And okay, probably just gonna okay. They go for the side strike. It's probably uh, the same team, to be honest. Uh, you get an extra psycho cut in, uh, so they'll CMP tie on the next one. Oh, okay. Or they're gonna go for the psycho cut down. Okay, and then you switch. Switch for sure. They have the shadow ball. You have to you have to shield it, right? Like there's just no no conceivable way you can't shield it. Um so they're gonna farm a little bit just to a one over to the Psy Shrike. They're four away from the next uh Psy Shrike, so it would be a CMP tie. Okay. You come to zone here. I think you just land uh okay, this is interesting. Um the shadow ball probably doesn't KO. But you just, do you just no shield this and then uh, spark down? Okay. Gonna sh oh my gosh, they mirror shot it. Okay. Um, that was not expected. Probably should just throw two side strikes at the shadow zone, to be honest. Okay. Uh, but it's try now. Uh, it's whether or not this this uh, zone has... Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's not try. And they're able to pick up game number three. 
after a very highly contested three games there. Uh, able to pick up two wins, which is pretty nice. I'm just going to update the score here really quickly. And uh, we're going to head over to Ultra League now. We are in the Ultra League match. Uh, the opponent has Giratina, Crobat, Empoleon, Talonflame, Gephus, and Gavantula. And uh, same thing, same rules apply in Ultra League again as in Master League. Um, and then our trainer has Empoleon, Greedon, Deoxys, Gyarados, Talonflame, and Gephus. So I really like Greedon. Right, Greedon's pretty safe across the board. There's no hard counters. Obviously, no counter users. Uh, no dark types. Like if, uh, if they had Umbreon or a lone muck, it'd be a little more difficult to, to use. But basically, he has no hard counters. And has like pretty strong matchups across the board. Obviously, like Chiefess uh, would be pretty tough for it. It would likely lose. Um, even calling the right baits or shielding the right moves. Um, and then I really like Chiefess. Um... Green and Gephus, and then like maybe Gyarados. Obviously, to be careful of the Galvantula. I do expect the Galvantula to come in because it has positive matchups against um, four of the Pokemon. Like, there's obviously two bar types, a Flyer and a Psychic type. So, I do expect the Galvantula to come in. Um, uh, like, I don't know, your best bet. Oh, Talonflame. Talonflame actually does okay against Galvantula, depending on the energy and shielding scenario. So, uh, but let's go ahead and get started um, with this round. I'd be shocked if we don't out uh, unintended. I'd be shocked if we don't if we don't see Gavangela. Um so here comes Chiefus. Actually coming in Polion, expecting the Chiefus. Yeah, that makes sense as well. And actually carrying Blizzard uh, on the Let's see if they okay. So you can basically do four more then throw the Hydro Cannon. Okay, you're gonna do three. Uh so they got an extra one in somehow. There's some weird um so you have to double shield and then farm down. Then you're gonna have the blizzard ready for should be able to farm down before they get to another move. Yeah, there's no there's no chance they'll get to another one. This is a rock slide. Not a big deal. Then obviously gonna go blizzard versus this uh Giratina. We'll see whether or not they shield. Obviously drill pack is the standard moveset in GBL, but sometimes they carry blizzard. Oh it does huge amount of damage. That's pretty awesome. Um, okay, this is nice. I was gonna say, like, potentially bank the hydro and then switch because it's two pretty solid answers to Gephus. They come to eventually, yeah, yeah. This is uh looking pretty, pretty strong here, and then oh, interesting, yeah, we're gonna throw the rock slide. Ah, uh, this, this should be GG. They're gonna um, lunge again, but really, there's like not not too much play. There's like pretty like two pretty hard counters. Um, they ideally should shield this, I guess, but really doesn't matter. And uh, they throw one more much eye then because they had a lunge there, but it doesn't matter here. This game's over. Um, they're gonna throw the dragon claw, but. That blizzard was very nice. Um, so, yeah, Gavantula, obviously what we expected. I don't know if they'll bring in... Uh, well, the Kiratina is also pretty strong uh, for them, so they pick up one win so far. Um, okay. Mm, the waterfall pressure is quite a bit, to be honest. And you can basically, like, two-shield your way through this matchup. Uh, likely they lunge, but let's see. They discharge. Yeah, they lunge. Okay, gonna switch to greed in. Okay. Really needs to win the switch. Uh, these bullet seeds are neutral. Uh, the crunch obviously gonna hit for neutral. Not no stab on the crunch, and no debuff. Um, does lose. Um, uh, does lose CMP, but uh, with a nice uh, gonna be able to get the moves quicker than than the Empoleon. Really needs these debuffs though. Uh, okay, gonna go. Okay, gonna let it go and then farm down with uh, uh, Empoleon. Yeah, I like this play. They probably make it to a Hydro Cannon though. Yeah, that's fine. 
We're gonna see what's gonna be in the back. Oh, they drill pack. Okay. Well, um. Okay, and then you kind of have to switch, but I think you live the old switch here. Okay, but we're gonna switch anyways. And they're gonna debuff it. That's my dog sneezing. Sure. Um. Oh, they have Gfis of their own. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit complicated. Gonna go straight for the EQ. Uh, I doubt a shield will come up, but let's see. Yeah, no shield. Um. Kind of have to call. They rock slide bait. Oh, that's actually looking pretty good here then. Uh, gonna CMP here. Um, can shield this. And then just switch in hydro. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch in hydro and this should take out the g -fis. And then uh, it's gonna probably take two volt switches to KO. But this is looking really good right now. Uh, they're probably one away from a lunge, but they have, let's get an extra mud shot through. Uh, that was a huge call, really huge call. Um, it was kind of 50 50, to be honest. Um, just because uh, they didn't shield the EQ, right? So, uh, really well played. Huge call, huge, huge call. Basically, the, the winning play right there after losing the lead. Um, okay, Greeted versus Empoleon. So we saw this matchup before, but we saw with no debuffs. So we're going to see. Going to go for this. Oh, going to go for the extra. Okay. They both try to go for the extra. Um, but CMP. CMP is not that bad. Um, obviously, no extra moves on either side. Going to be able to hit this crunch before them. No debuff. Oh my gosh. How many have they thrown? They actually get extra waterfall through. Um... See if they get the debuff this time. And we're going to go in slow motion for some reason. I'm going to let this go and then look to farm down with uh, their Empoleon like they did last time. And I'm curious. Okay, they ideally should throw the Hydro Cannon. Both of the moves are resisted. But Hydro Cannon, obviously, the much better move. And honestly, like that allowed the Empoleon to survive last time. Okay, I'm going to throw here and then. Do one more, then throw. Um, at least take a shield or do damage. Okay, going to switch. They're going to lunge again. But they're not at a Hydro Cannon, which I don't like. Um, and here comes g -fis. Okay, going to throw the EQ. They know shield again, which makes sense. Okay. You shield this. Let's see if they bait. They go for it this time. Uh, but again, they're one off the move, and they're like dangerously low. Um, you shield this, and then just switch in hydro cannon, and then we're basically in the same situation as last time. Switch, and then hydro, and then uh, because they were not able to get the rock slide off. Um, and then, yeah, this is, uh, well, this is, unless they have, like, energy ball or something. Going to throw before they get debuffed, which is an excellent idea. They have to lunge now. And there's just no way. Like, there's just no way. Um, this is such a, this is too dominating of a matchup. And going to be able to pick up, I believe that's the third game there. And uh, be able to pick up uh, the 3-0 uh, very dominant uh, dominant win. Uh, some really fantastic gameplay. So we're going to go ahead and go to Open Great League now. All right, we are in the Open Great League. Uh, so Pony has Jeefus, Venusaur, uh, Azumarill, Metacham, Talonflame, and Sableye. Our trainer is Swampert, Jeefus, Mandibuzz, uh, Pidgeot, um, Azu, and Metacham. Uh, honestly, like uh, Pidgeot looks pretty strong. Obviously, I have to be careful of the GFS. Uh, but the GFS has like a lot to worry about. Metacham, Azumarill, Swampert. Neutral matchup with uh, their own GFS. Uh, obviously, GFS Mirror. And then Mandibuzz is not even that bad. And Mandibuzz here um, probably carries Snarl. Uh, Air Slash is good for like the Metacham. And good for Azu and Venusaur. 
Um, but I think the strong allows the chiefest matchup to be a little bit more even. Um, the opponent kind of has to bring the chiefest, but it's going to be difficult to to find a right home for it. Um, let's see what else is good here. Lots of well, two pretty hard Sableye answers. Three three hard Sableye answers. Well, uh, two of them hard like Mandibuzz and Pidgeot. Azumarill can be tricky with that return. Um. So I like the Flyers, uh, and then Jeefus? It's kind of a trade-off, right? Like, you bring Jeefus and two Flyers, um, or you bring, like, Medicham and two Flyers. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see what they do here. So they're going to lead Pidgeot into Jeefus, obviously. A really, really, really bad lead here. So I'm going to immediately switch to Azumarill. Going to bring... Too uh, interesting that he didn't bring Venusaur um, while leading Jeefus. So you got an EQ. Okay. Here comes their own Azumarill. So that, that like, uh, unless they're reading the team, this is, like, pretty promising for, um, it's pretty promising for um, the Swampert. Maybe they have Talon Flame in the back. That would be also very weird. Um, maybe they have Sableye in the back. That's, that's probably it. Gonna be able to reach this play rough. All right, we're experiencing a little bit of lag on the video, but that's fine. Let's see if this is gonna be a CMP. Uh, I think he let this go. And then. Uh, Honestly, the mud shot down is kind of appealing, but okay, they they are gonna go for it. Okay, it is very appealing. Okay, it's it ends up being a meta cham. Okay, okay, I kind of like this idea. They're gonna nerf the Jeefus, and then oh my gosh, they're gonna shield here. Okay, they think that they can beat the Jeefus uh, um, up energy, which I th this is a pretty interesting idea. Hey, if you're going to shield, okay, I was going to say, you might as well shield now, but this is fine too. Gonna let it go. Going to Brave Bird, but they're going to be up a shield, right? So... Gonna feather dance again, but they're gonna make it to another rock slide, and you have to hope that you can. Uh... Okay, they aim to swap. Okay, this is interesting. I don't see the win con here, uh, but the ice punch bait. Oh, okay, that is not great. So they they uh, will make it to another move. Um. And then you kind of have to hope to farm. You really need to make it. Okay, if this is Ice Punch, it should be fine. It is Ice Punch. Ooh, not able to. You need to farm down here, though. They're, they're going to make it to a move, right? Or they're going to mud shot down. They're definitely going to be able to mud shot down. Yeah. That was unfortunate. All right. So the opponent played very well there. Okay, so Venusaur. Gonna play the two flyers. Yeah. Alright. I'm experiencing a lot of lag here, but uh there's actually a very close matchup between these two. This is what the team I was advocating in the first place bait out the it's actually a really, really close match. The timing is very important. It's probably going to do three, then throw. Okay, just going to go for the sink. Um, and then going to look to... It's actually... Yeah. Uh, they're going to be able to make another rock slide here, but let's see if they shield this or not. Because... Uh, can you... I think you let this go. They only have one flyer answer, right? So you counter down. 
and then you I think you take the frenzy and then you rely on your flyer and see whether or not they shield this the second would do obviously a lot of damage they end up no shielding once you get to the second ice punch and it does and we're gonna see whether or not they're gonna shield they do I think you just force the okay yep this is looking pretty okay obviously uh looks like they have ice beam they don't have ice beam so that's actually really promising gonna feather dance gonna build up to quite a bit obviously the venusaur likely has a sludge bomb because they they know it's in the back uh gonna let this go they play rough not too big a deal is she gonna feather dance again i don't know about this um but let's see all right my video is lagging for some reason but that's okay and i'm not sure about this play and the game the video is deciding whether or not it likes this play or not i too uh okay okay there you go they actually end up shielding it which is pretty huge oh my gosh they actually just got fully taken out and they had the brave bird there so i'm not, I'm not entirely sure why they're throwing uh the feather dance uh one more gust with ko anyway so um okay nicely done all right swamper into talon flame very nice read um they're gonna go to azu okay you do have to go at some point in time gonna throw the eq Okay, they don't have, I think you let this go and just Brave Bird. Okay, gonna shield. Oh, they went for the Hydro Pump, which wouldn't have KO'd, but, oh man, okay. This person loves to Feather Dance, but their, their clocks are very desync, so not 100% sure on this. Um, but I guess you can't let them, um, gonna let this go. Okay. Oh man, <laughs> they're gonna call this ready. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think you let this go. Even if it's a brave bird, it's debuffed. Okay. They're gonna shield it. I don't think it would have KO'd. Uh, it definitely wouldn't have KO'd. Right. So like two stage debuffed. Venusaur. No, they come with Azu. Hmm. Okay, uh, if it's play rough, should be able to live it. Uh, if it's Hydro, obviously it will KO. Uh, oh, they come Jeefus. Okay, how do you want to play this? Do you. Okay, gonna go Mandibuzz. It's a very close matchup. Again, like we saw previously. Uh, this two flyer strat is pretty strong. Um, oh, extra snarl through, which is really huge. Do one snarl, then throw. But I think like two... Well, let's see here. Oh, gonna go for the sink. Risky play there. Um, but sometimes you have to make the risky play. Okay, um, should live this, but clock is up though, right? And they can they can switch, so they're probably gonna try to catch. All right, some like oh, it does care ends up getting KO'd. They're dry right now. Um, gonna fed what <laughs> is happening here? Uh, okay, <laughs> what is happening here? Uh, why feather dance? Uh, I'm pretty sure the brave bird would have won there. They're just gonna reset. Are they not? Okay, that was honestly maybe too in love with the feather dance. Uh, definitely could have won there if it had landed the Brave Bird. If they were switching caught, like there's nothing you could do anyways, right? Like uh, you probably couldn't take a bubble on the Pidgeot anyways and still win the game. So 
Um, very, uh, very weird um, ending to that match. Uh, but I ended up picking up one point, and we're going to go ahead and move on to the restricted metas. Okay, we are in the dungeon meta. Uh, so, bug, dragon, poison, steel, water. Um, Typings are permitted. Azumarill, G Fist, Skarmory, Altaria, Bastion, Shadow Pokemon, and uh, must be our ban. And then uh, 1500. CP and below. So obviously the Great League. So let's go ahead. Oh, actually, no, we talked about the teams first. Um, so the opponent has Jellison, Ferrothorn, Mawile, Registeel, Dragalge, Escavalier. Right? So uh, obviously, like uh, um, like four Pokemon weak to Mawile. But Dragalge, like, obviously, could I get Gunk Shot, which hit for neutral, uh, but like a bajillion times resist the Dragon Tails. Uh, and obviously, Escavalier with counter could do some damage. Focus Blast. Reggie could do some damage, but uh, looking pretty good. Um, and then uh, uh, our trainer has Flygon, Drapion, Jellicent, Govantula, Gyarados, and Mawile. It's going to be really difficult to bring in, um, like, um, to bring in uh, Jellicent versus uh, our team because uh, of the Govantula, because of the Drapion. Uh, well, I guess it's kind of neutral. Uh, I do expect the Gyarados, Gyarados Mawal core looks pretty strong, to be honest here. Um, uh, but obviously wants a harder answer to Mawal, which I guess Flygon does. But let's go ahead and get started uh, with the battles um, and see how we do. So obviously going to lead Mawal into Dragology here. So we're going to see if they have play rough. Uh, okay, going to immediately switch here. Um, okay, interesting. They come into Jellison. Uh, that was an interesting swap. Um, we're going to see whether or not they're going to ball here. Or... They do ball. So should be able to make it to this next crunch. Going to try to CMP tie with them. Okay, nope, they decide to keep farming here, which makes sense. I don't think... Okay, gonna shield. I'm gonna go for the crunch. Um, hopefully gets the defense drop. Oh, it does get the defense drop. Um, should... Do they have enough for... Uh, oh, they do have enough for that rage. I did a huge amount of damage. That's very unfortunate. And that doesn't KO. Um, obviously, you're going to maw all down, right? But they still have uh, a Jellison. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is very bad here. And probably their own maw in the back. Let's see here. You kind of... Okay, gonna throw. There's almost like I don't. Even, there's nothing in the back you could beat. There's like a Ferrothorn maybe. Oh my gosh! Well, okay. You shall and yes. Okay, gonna catch the move here. Jesus. Okay. Is this the? <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. I was like, there's nothing you can beat in the back, except for a Ferrothorn. I was looking at the team. I was like, maybe a Ferrothorn. Jesus. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty well there. Oh, oh, did it? Okay. I was, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, uh, bag is full there. That was that was honestly a crazy ending to the game. Okay, we're going to see Mawal to Dragology. I'm curious why they're, they're switching. Um, uh, maybe to bait, I don't know, bait out the Mawal? I'm not really too sure. Um, um Getting no shield aqua tail makes sense. Okay, gonna throw another crunch. Uh, this would threaten the KO of the Dragalge. They did get the defense fall. Um, gonna wait the clock out. And gonna go into Mawal here. Um, obviously, this is aqua tail, right? Don't, don't need shield aqua tail. Okay, another Aqua Tail. Can you farm down here? I think you have to throw. Okay. Oh, maybe you can farm down. Yeah, okay. Distracted by my dog here. 
Okay, they come into... Gonna throw the play rough here. Okay, and they're gonna switch. We're gonna see what's in the back. It is gonna be the Ferrothorn this time. Gonna throw the Crunch. Obviously, they're probably gonna go straight Power Whip. Uh, which would hit for neutral damage, do quite a bit. No defense drop. Um, gonna have to shield everything. Because the Power Whip would still do a pretty good amount of damage. We have to hope that they don't have a bait move. Um, nope, they go for the Power Whip. Gonna go for the Aqua Tail bait. Honestly, the Aqua Tail would put it pretty low, though. Uh... Okay, gonna go Mawile. Oh, able to farm down. Oh, this is looking pretty good here, but I don't know. Okay, gonna uh, power up punch. Uh, I think they're gonna be able to take the game, right? They're gonna be able to shadow ball the Scaredos. The Scaredos doesn't have an Aqua Tail. Oh, it does not have the Aqua Tail. And uh, that Shadow Ball definitely will KO and uh, take the game. So, very nice game by the opponent. Good adapting. Right, we're going to lead Gyarados into Jelly. Okay, pretty neutral matchup. They haven't shown their second move yet. So we're going to throw the Crunch. Uh, the the, the Jellison will eventually outpace. Okay, they're, they're farming up just in case they don't shield. Okay. Uh, they sh okay, they come into Interesting. I'm assuming they're going to have Thunder, because they haven't shown their second move yet. Or Flash Cannon. Uh, it is Flash Cannon. Should be able to still farm down, though. And then they're going to get pretty close to the Play Rough. Play Rough will do a nice amount of damage. Okay, do you, do you assume that there's a Dragalge in the back? They're going to Shield. Okay, I think you go um, Gavantula here. Sa I, I wouldn't shield the Gavantula. You're predicting, I think you predict uh, the Dragology in the back. Okay, you're not gonna, sh okay, you're gonna shield this. Um, oh God, okay. Uh, okay. Maybe you should have uh, lunge first. I don't know. Maybe this is okay though. Uh, this is probably okay. Uh, because they outrage. Oh, the Aqua Tail. Okay. The Aqua Tail. Oh, man. Okay. Still able to farm down. Okay. Uh, and go for the Aqua Tail. Uh, this obviously won't KO. Yeah. And they're going to get a few more Dragon Rests. Just need one Volt Switch. Um, live the Shadow Ball. Oh, live the Shadow Ball. Live the Hex. No, don't live the Hex. Didn't get the Volt Switch through. Unfortunately, going down. Uh, Two to one in that set, but I think they had to straight up, honestly, just no shield to Gavantula, make the prediction that there's going to be Dragology in the back. It was the most likely, like, uh, win con. Um, and Gyarados was looking pretty good against the rest of the remaining team once uh, uh, once Ferrothorn was was out of the way. So, unfortunate um, loss there, but uh, does still pick up one point. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and move on to the second uh, dungeon matchup. All right, we're going to look at Escav, Gavantula, Zwilus, Flygon, Quagsire, and uh, Lapras. Um, so lots of anti... Uh, like basically three Pokemon weak to Mawa, and then three Pokemon are strong against it. Unfortunately, not, not as I have Mawa. And uh, uh, they have uh, Ferrothorn, Galvantula, Dragalge, uh, Jellicent, Steelix, Swampert here. Mm, Swampert looking pretty strong. Obviously, I have to be careful of Zwilus, but if they have Earthquake, then it's still a playable matchup. Um, Steelix would be really hard to use here, so I don't expect the Steelix to... Steelix is really good against two, Galvantula and Zwilus, but really bad against the, the other four. Um, uh, Jellicent? Uh, really good against Lapras. Uh, really good against Ascav. Um, okay against the two ground types. And then, depending on the moveset, uh, could be okay against Wireless, but generally not. So I don't see it like as like super strong, depending on what team composition they're going to bring. But I do expect the Swampert to come in. Swampert's looking pretty good. 
uh, Dragalge here, weak against Lapras. Um, weak against the two ground types, but honestly still does a lot of damage, uh, especially to the Flygon. Um, would, uh, would do okay against Wireless, not amazing. Would do well against Galvantula and do poorly against Escav, so... And then... Uh, I kind of like Ferrothorn here. Obviously, you have to... Okay, Swampert, Ferrothorn... Um... Mm, Dragalge? <laughs> kind of tough here, to be honest, but let's go ahead and get started and see... What they're gonna bring? They're gonna bring the Ferrothorn. Gonna be met by um, uh, Zwilus here, which is fine. Uh, obviously, wants to land the Flash Cannon. I would not KO, but would do a lot of damage. Uh, likely to go straight Dark Pulse here. I don't expect them to bait. Yeah, and then uh, the Body Slam would KO next, so uh, which they will be able to outpace to. Okay, they actually do bring. Uh, Galvantula. Did they body slam? Gonna go Galvantula here, but I did think they over farmed a little bit, so they should be able to land the body slam. Yeah. I was expecting. Uh, farm up, like, do like two. Okay. Uh, gonna melee throw. I think they did like two more than through. So I don't expect them to shield. Yeah. Energy here would be really nice, um, but obviously they have a lot. Uh, so this should be a CMP. Okay, nope. They're going to go for the farm down. Uh, it's going to hit for lots of neutral damage, but... Uh, I'm assuming they're going to go straight Earth Power. Uh, no baiting here, because they are... Oh, they do bait. Uh, what do they have in the back? Escav? It is the Escavalier. Okay, uh, this is looking looking pretty rough. Um, they take it. Okay, maybe it can Volt Switch down, but really, really low right now. On That's basically the only play. It's the Volt Switch down, and it's... Oh, man, they survived with 1 HP. Jesus, okay. Um, that was very unfortunate. All right, going to go Dragalge into the Zwilus. Okay, pretty neutral matchup. They're gonna go straight body slam, and uh, and obviously gonna have to try to sneak one in. Does not sneak one in. Um, would be able to. F oh man, this farm down is gonna be pretty brutal here. Okay, not gonna farm down. Gonna throw the aqua tail. They obviously gonna let this go. They come S calf. Oh no, they're gonna come flygon here. Oh man, this Flygon is absolutely disastrous for them. Okay, gonna go straight for the Bubble Beam. Um, I'm assuming they know shield this, right? Because obviously they're... Oh my gosh, okay, they shield it. Okay. Um, would live. Any move. They Dragon Claw. Okay. Um, would still live. Any move here. Um... They're going to Bubble Beam. It's Escav in the back, right? Like... Uh, okay. Gonna... Gonna Discharge. Uh, banking that they don't shield. They end up with shielding. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's not great. You can do three more. If they threw right away, they can do three more and CMP tie. Okay, uh, that's safe, but I think, honestly, maybe a little too safe. Yeah. Um, Dragon Claw probably doesn't KO here, right? But, uh, oh, yeah, it does, it does KO. Oh, man, this Flygon is absolutely ruining uh, uh, the, the trainer. Okay, gonna, oh, man, they actually brought Celix in? That's crazy. Um... Okay, tried to catch the Surf. Uh, I guess end up catching the Surf. Uh, it's better to take it here. Um, got a shield. Okay, 
get an earthquake. Oh my gosh. Okay. Did a bunch of extra much. It doesn't really matter though, because uh, they wouldn't have made it to another move. Right? That EQ. Oh man, maybe they actually would have made it a hydro there. So obviously you want looking to farm down. With Steelix. Uh, this should just be a body slam. Yeah, it does nothing. Oh man, is it gonna be flag on in the back? Oh, it's Quag. Oh my goodness, this is disastrous. This is really, really bad. Oh man, we attack you. Okay. You gotta hope that they they stone edge here or something. The earthquake. Okay. Okay, this is actually really good because um, Jellison has a really dominant matchup against Lapras and should be able to like farm to 100 and then uh, uh, this definitely won't KO so should be able to hex down and then just bubble beam nerf this uh, oh they actually end up shielding okay yeah extra hex through which is huge I think you gotta go to 100 now though you gotta go 100 and then throw okay I don't okay I think they need to farm more. Because if they no shield this. Yeah, that's you just bubble beam, right? Uh, but they should call it. They should call it, right? They should no shield this. Okay, they end up shielding. Um Okay. Uh, I think this is fine though. They can't have two moves. Uh unless they sledge bomb, I guess. They stone edge. Okay. Gonna bubble beam. This definitely won't KO, but should be able to hex down. Oh, very nice play. Very nice. That blind swap ended up saving them from, from absolutely getting swept. Uh, but uh, some nice play, and uh, we're, 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 we have a match here. Right? We have a match. So we're going to move on to the other restricted meta. Uh, so I'll see everyone there. Okay, we are in the Nightfall meta, which is Ice, Fighting, Ground, Normal, Poison, uh, Pidgeot, Chansey, Lickitung, our band, and obviously in the Grey League. Uh, we're going to see the opponent has Alolan, Ninetales, Gallade, uh, Swampert, Scrafty, Chiefess, and Haunter, which is a pretty interesting pick. Uh, Venusaur, Water Trainer has Venusaur, Chiefess, Swampert, Gengar, uh, Metacham, and Alolan, Ninetales. So, um, mm, okay, so Swampert, obviously looking pretty decent on um, our trainer side. Oh, it's a little bit less so for the opponent because of Venusaur. Um, uh, Alolan Ninetales still. Obviously, has to be careful of the Jeefus. Uh, and as well, the Haunter, especially if they're carrying Charm. And then uh, Metacham looking okay. Just like, like three, two really good matchups. Um, the, the Gallade one... It could could be, is obviously favorable for Glade, uh, but it's not that bad. And then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and see how they're gonna play this. We're gonna have Nine Tails Mirror. Let's see what moveset they have. Uh, okay, they both have Powder Snow, and uh, obviously we go straight for the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, that was weird. Uh, I clear. Look like they clicked the Dazzling Gleam. Um, gonna throw it. Let's see whether or not they shield. Also, I think I have this on like a million times speed, but that's okay. Uh, they're obviously going to weather ball. Um, this should be a CMP tie to another weather ball. This doesn't KO. Okay, going to shield this. Interesting. Uh, going to farm down. Oh, they come to Scrafty. Okay, yeah, they're predicting the Scrafty in the back. I'm gonna actually going to change the speed. I'm actually going to do that right now. This uh, match is going way too fast here. Uh, I'm going to slow it down here. There you go. Um, okay. Now it looks really slow <laughs> compared to before. I'm going to Hydro here. Um, this is looking really rough. They pop. Oh, man. There's no chance. Uh, they can reach. Well, they should be able to reach um, an Earthquake. They pop. Two, three, four. Gonna have to throw. Oh, okay, that's really bad. Oh, yeah, there's just no chance here, right? Um, would be able to survive. I don't even know what they could be in the back. There's absolutely nothing they could be in the back. Um, and like for three, like 
10 HP Pokemon. They do come in Gallade. Um, yeah, yeah, now this Gallade's going to Leaf Blade and uh, take it out. So really rough here. We're basically 8 and 8 right now. Uh, we'll see if whether or not Wing Attack can slow down the momentum of the opponents here. All right, so we're going to see Swamper Mirror. And really, they, they have very similar mindsets, picking the same leads. They did get an extra mud shot through, okay? Um, I'm assuming they're going to no shield now, right? I don't think they're, they're one behind, right? So, and I assume they're going to, okay, going to catch the move here on nine tails. Um, okay. Uh, they do come in Scrafty. Okay, going to shield this because they want to get to the Gleam. Um, and they think that shields down is favorable. Uh, so going to come Metacham. gonna shield this okay let's see if they bait or they go for it okay i'm pretty sure they reach another foul play though okay uh i like this play going for the big farm down it's go it'll probably go lead in the back right let's see oh man is the hunter and this hunter Absolutely going to get the lead. Or oh, did they switch? They did make a switch. Oh, but very nice undercharge. And should be able to make it to this move before the Haunter can make it to a Shadow Punch. And uh, a very beautiful play. Fantastic play. Nice catches on both sides. Uh, but Psyche, we still got you. We still got you. Picking up a very nice win. Now it's 1-1 one, one in this matchup. Okay. Um, this is okay. Um... The, oh, interesting. Going for the CMP tie. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay. Uh, that's weird. The Haunter should have... Uh, oh, okay. They they have Shadow Ball here. So we go for the Gleam. And then... Uh, we go to Medichamp. I don't know here. Gonna let this go. Right? Uh, doesn't KO. Okay. This is another Weather Ball. Um, need to land a Psychic, though. So they'll beat you another Weather Ball. Uh, okay. Uh, they need four more for the next Weather Ball, right? Okay. Nope. Okay. Um, gonna let it go. I like the play. Okay, um, there you go, Swamper. Okay, I'm gonna shield this. Swamper with energy is gonna be really nice here. Um, well, they do come in Haunter. The Haunter's pretty dry. So I'm gonna be able to land the Hydro Cannon. They're looking to undercharge a little bit, but it's definitely gonna KO. Let's see what's in the back. It is Scrafty. Oh man, catching the foul play. Um, let's see if they undercharge. They don't undercharge it. Two hydros should KO. Uh, that was really, really nice play. Uh, yeah, two hydros should do it. Okay, gonna max out the energy and then throw the hydro cannon. And let's see. Oh man, okay, very nice. Able to outpace the, the nine tails there and win the game, sweeping with uh, uh sweeping with uh, the Swampert here. Uh, very nice catch, beautiful catch. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, actually bring the score to 10 to 8 here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead into the last uh, nightfall battle and wrap up the wrap up this uh. Uh, factions matchup.
Okay, we are in the final matchup here. Uh, the trainer has uh, Ninetales, Gallade, Metacham, Jeefus, Venusaur, Swampert. Um, while our trainer has Swampert, Metacham, Ninetales, Frostlass, uh, Jeefus, and Venusaur. Honestly, I think Frostlass looks like an amazing safe swap here, right? Like this, it looks amazing. Uh, does pretty well against his, virtually this entire team. Has lots of play. Obviously, Jeefus can be a little bit tricky. Um, but this is looking pretty amazing here. And depending on what Moose said, the Ninetales it has, it could be tricky as well. But let's go ahead and get started with the battles here. We have uh, Ninetales into uh, Swampert. Going to go straight for the Weather Ball. And they're at least going to fake the Sludge Wave. Um... Oh, they went straight for the Earthquake. Does not KO. And going to be able to throw the Weather Ball. Honestly, they probably should switch before getting farmed down. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. I really don't like that farm down. Um, Frostless is so, so, so safe there, so I'm not entirely sure. Probably should... Sh okay, going to let it go. They do Earthquake a second time. Oh, my gosh. This person's in love with Earthquakes. Uh... They come to Gallade. I'm gonna throw the Psychic. And we're gonna see this. Okay. They actually end up no shielding. So gonna have to shield. Um two shield frost last looks pretty strong against this team. Um oh man, this is looking really, really good here. Uh gonna shield this and uh this this is GG. The frost last like such an amazing pick. Um, and the Avalanche will definitely KO. They're obviously going to shield this, uh, but this is just delaying the inevitable. The Gallade doesn't have uh, another move. It's like one one confusion in, so it's actually going to end up getting farmed down there. Really nice play. All right, we're going to have lead Venusaur into Gallade. That is not great. Going to say switch into Frostlass. Okay. Uh, gonna have to shield this and then they'll probably switch so they have to be careful not to throw into ooh the let confusion through it's really not great uh they do end up shielding oh man Gallade is oh my gosh okay um okay uh let's see if they shield this shadow ball it definitely won't KO but it does a lot of damage Okay, I think you go Metacham, because you can absorb the charge move onto uh, Venusaur later. Oh, okay, going to go straight into Venusaur, okay. Oh, this is a Charm Nine Tails. Oh, this is a Charm Nine Tails, okay. Never mind, okay. That's actually the correct call. Okay, I didn't know. I just assumed it was Power Snow. Okay, um, going to build up a bunch of energy here. At least double up. Okay, not going to double up. Um, I'm not sure why not. Uh, okay, um... Okay, uh, uh, there's no way it KOs, yeah. There's almost no damage, but they, they knew that they were going to get to the move. Um, and we're going to see what's in the back. It ends up being a Metacham versus the Venusaur. This is looking really good. Psychic is going to do a lot of damage. Obviously, super effective while Frenzy Plan is neutral. Very strong move, but they're going to be able to reach this Psychic and uh, take out this... Uh, this Venusaur. And uh, very nice. Very nice play. Uh, okay, we're going to have Venusaur into Ninetales. This is really good because this is a Charm Ninetales. And... Going to go for the Sludge Bomb. Could have threw a slightly better time there. Basically tried to sink. Um, but I, I guess the sink made sense. Like, if they were going to throw... Uh, right when they got to it, uh, which which they didn't end up doing, and gonna throw right away. I think again trying to sink, um, but could have. Okay, they end up shielding again. It's actually a very close matchup. Kind of have to shield this, and they can just frenzy. And honestly, I think you just go you go straight to frost last here. Okay, gonna go Metacham into Gallade. This is fine too. Um, they feel Leap Blade. They're gonna hit for neutral, but should be able to survive. 
Oh, they come to Swampert. But th this should be game, right? Like, uh, this Frost Slash can just clean up. Yeah, yeah. Frost Slash can just clean up. Frost Slash can totally eat a Hydro, but they're, they're going to wait the clock out. And this should be GG. Uh, this Hydro can definitely does not KO. And then the Avalanche is absolutely going to destroy the, the Gallade. Uh, maybe could have shadow balled, uh, but that's okay. Um, this doesn't matter. Glade absolutely gonna get destroyed by one of my favorite Pokemon to use in Frost Last. It was amazing, amazing pick. Uh, absolutely incredible battles. I'm actually gonna let's uh, let's actually bring up the final score. Uh, it actually ended up being. 13 to 8 in favor of Wing Attack. Congratulations on the victory. I'm looking forward to covering more uh, Sil Faction matches. Let me know uh, what you think of this format, whether you're going to be participating. I'm going to leave there. If you like to see it, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.